quiet, okay? Hello, Chargers. Mrs. Boyd coming here with you for Geometry B, Section 9.2, Translations. Today, we're going to talk about translating along vectors. So, as you can see up here, it says to translate a point along vector A, B, those little uh, tent-looking brackets, we make that a vector, add A to the X coordinate and B to the Y coordinate. So we're going from X, Y to X plus A, Y plus B. That's on your little tiny cheat sheet that I gave you. We're going to put that to good use here. We're going to graph this figure, uh, triangle EFG with vertices, E at negative 7, negative 1. So let's graph that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 1, and that is E. And F at negative 4, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And G at negative 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 1. That's G. Whew, that's harder than you might think. All right, so this is our back vector, 2, 5. So we're going to take each of these points and add 2 to the x value and 5 to the y value. So E prime is going to be negative 7 plus 2, negative 1 plus 5, which is negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. So that's E prime is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have F prime. That is now going to be negative 4 plus 2. Negative 4 plus 5. Which becomes negative 2, 1. So you go over 2, up 1. Lastly, we've got g prime that's going to be negative 3 plus 2, negative 1 plus 5. And that becomes negative 1, 4. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. And here we go. Looks like I graphed my first one not so hot. That should have been a little bit like that. So this is E prime, F prime, G prime. All right. Um, move on. Oh, there's some kitties. Let's move on to the next one. Number two. We have this square with vertices J, K, L, and M along this vector. I want you to pause the video and graph this one on your own. All right, so we're going to graph the original. J is at 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. K is at 5, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. L is at 7, 4. <coughs> M is at 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is a square. Whoopsie. Now we're going to have to you move along this vector, negative 3, negative 4. So J prime, which is going to be in red, not blue, is negative is going to be 3 minus 3 4 minus 4 which is 0 0 which is otherwise known as the origin so that's j prime uh, k prime is going to be 5 minus 3 2 minus 4 and that becomes 2 negative 2 1 2 1 2 so that's k prime. L prime is 7 minus 3, 4 minus 4, and that is 4, 
zero. One, two, three, four. M prime, last one, five minus three, six minus four, and that becomes two, two. So we put these, connect the dots, and we've done it. My graphing is not so great, but we get the idea. Okay, pause, try the next one on your own, and then come on back. Okay, so let's graph this one. We've got ABC with the vertices A at 2, 6, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. B is 1, 1. C is 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is C, connect the dots. And then we have to change along our vector. So it looks like A is gonna go to two minus four. Whoopsie. Get rid of that, we don't need that yet. Two minus four, six minus one, which makes it, that's A prime, makes it negative two, Five. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So now A prime. All right, B prime. I'm gonna go one minus four, negative or nope, positive one. Minus one. And that becomes negative three, zero. You go to left three, and that's B prime. Uh, C prime will be 7 minus 4, 5 minus 1. And that is now 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's C prime. And there we go. We've done it. Um, you know, we're gonna, I think we're going to skip the next one because we know how to do this. We've done it three times. Everybody gets the idea. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, good luck. Bye-bye.